since it's going to be an extremely busy weekend for shoppers. Experts predict more than $30 billion in sales over this Black Friday weekend. But with big sales comes big opportunity for thieves. Stephen Florino has tips on how you can stay safe. Thanksgiving shopping means picking up those last minute essentials. Poki, ahi sashimi, taco poki. It's a must. I mean, this is Hawaii, you know, gotta have sashimi, you know, or poki. But after the get togethers, you gotta move quick. The biggest shopping weekend finally here. Black Friday sales across the country estimated to hit more than $10 billion. Cyber Monday sales estimated at $13 billion. I have not started yet. Uh, I think it's gonna be a good time with the, with the Black Friday and, and the long weekend. So definitely a good time to, to go shopping. It is a good time. And experts want you to be safe while at the mall. It's gonna be very crazy. So. Watch your purse, watch your wallets, watch your phones, and please don't bring your dogs or animals out shopping. I know people think it's excitement, but we don't want to see any animals stepped on or injured as everyone's crowded around to go shopping. I think just go with their friends and, you know, go to the right shops, the right places, stay safe. Other tips? Try not to leave any bags in your car and don't carry too much cash. Others prefer to shop virtually. I realize that it's so much convenient and I don't have to hustle. I don't have to go to the store. I don't have to like, I mean, being lying. I hate doing that. I'm sorry. I really do. Analysts say online scams jump close to 30% during the Black Friday weekend. So to stay safe, experts advise you to double check websites before entering personal or financial info and shop at trusted retailers. I typically shop online, only stores that I know, I know, like I know, right? Like if I go to Sara, whatever, you know, brand, um, I already been there, I've, I've shopped there before. That way you can make it to the end of the year for more holiday get-togethers. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's, that's, um, that's not a holiday, that's, that's work for me, that, that sounds like work. <laughs> Stephen Florino, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.